Hello, Congregational Church of Amherst. It is Friday, May 22nd, um, and I am glad to be here with you this morning. I'm here in my home office thinking a lot about life and our sermon for Sunday and kind of where we find ourselves in this time, in this time where we are definitely before the new normal, before we can meet and gather in big groups and before we really know what life is going to look like together um, post-pandemic. And we're definitely after the initial impact of COVID-19 and what it has brought to our world. Um, and our apostles find themselves in a middle time as well for our scripture on Sunday. They, it is post-resurrection, post the excitement of Jesus coming back. Um, and he is leaving them and telling them to wait for the Holy Spirit to come and direct their steps. Um, and so I thought I'd share with you a little preview um, from our sermon on Sunday, I, a little blessing from this book. It's called To Bless the Space Between Us by John O'Donohue. He is um, an author and poet, and he lives in Ireland, and he's wonderful. Um, and so I thought I'd offer this blessing for you this morning. And so I invite you to find you know, a comfortable seat or take a deep breath and just kind of drop into this blessing that I hope will touch your spirits this morning and this time on this Friday or whenever you are meeting this video. For the interim time. When near the end of day, life has drained out of light and it is too soon for the mind of night to have darkened things. No place looks like itself. Loss of outline makes everything look strangely in between, unsure of what has been or what might come. In this wan light, even trees seem groundless. In a while, it will be night, but nothing here seems to believe the relief of dark. You are in this time of the interim, where everything seems withheld. The path you took to get here has washed out. The way forward is still, still concealed from you. The old is not old enough to have died away. The new is still too young to be born. You cannot lay claim to anything. In this place of dusk, your eyes are blurred and there is no mirror. Everyone else has lost sight of your heart and you can see nowhere to put your trust. You know you have to make your own way through. As far as you can, hold your confidence. Do not allow your confusion to squander this call which is loosening your roots in false ground, that you might come free from all you have outgrown. What is being transfigured here is your mind, and it is difficult and slow to become new. The more faithfully you can endure here, the more refined your heart will become for your, new, for your arrival in the new dawn. The more faithfully you can endure here, the more refined your heart will become for your arrival in the new dawn. That is my blessing for you this morning, dear church. I hope that it will sit with you, and if you are interested in uh, these words, if they have touched your heart at all, I encourage you to look into this book, um, which has been such a blessing to me. And I hope that you enjoy this beautiful day. Have a great Friday.